Turkey continues conducting those operations. This is the fourth day Turkey uh, is shelling on YPG targets in northern Syria. And despite those operations, YPG, Kurdish YPG militia continues to advance and they have rejected Turkey's ultimatum to retreat from recent gained territories. According to groups monitoring the conflict in Syria, the Russian airstrikes have allowed Syrian regime forces to gain territory from the rebels, but they have also uh, helped YPG uh, militia to advance on this that is called the Northern Corridor. That is a stretch of land of about 100 kilometers. That is the only stretch of land uh, near the border with Turkey that is not under Kurdish control, and they have been advancing. They have now controlled Controlled, invaded the town of Tel Rifat, which is about 20 kilometers from the Turkish border, and are advancing towards Azaz. Azaz is the main opposition base in this northern territory and this northern corridor. And the Turkish Prime Minister Ahmed Davutoglu has said yesterday that Turkey will not let Azaz fall. That is very important that the YPG and the world knows that Turkey will not let that happen. And if the YPG continues advancing, well, they will be met with even a harsher reaction from Turkey. What exactly that reaction will be, well, we'll have to wait and see. But Turkey continues conducting those operations. And for the Syrian population, well, the situation is only getting harder. At least 50, 50 people were killed yesterday when uh, two schools and five hospitals were targeted. Um, those airstrikes are being uh, uh, described by both France and Turkey as war crimes.